hello and welcome back and today we want to answer the question is the WD Black SN850 still worth it in summer 2022 and I'm going to cover as many points as possible as I can in just five minutes. Right, so first and foremost, one of the main reasons why it's still a popular drive is it's still heavily recommended for the PS5 as an upgrade. Let's face it, when Mark Cerny kind of gave it its seal of approval, a lot of you straight away went, yep, yeah, that is a good drive for me. And although there have been many, many other drives released in the two to coming up to two and a half years since this drive first came onto the market, let's face it, the WD Black is still a very appealing choice for many of you out there when it comes to upgrading your PS5. And which brings me straight on to my next point, it is always on offer. It doesn't matter whether you're looking at Amazon or you're looking at Prime Day or you're looking at a third party site, you're looking at Scan, you're looking at Newegg, or you're looking at Black Friday. This drive is always on offer. And if the site that you buy from doesn't have it on offer, there'll be 10 more that do. It's been around in the market long enough that the availability is everywhere. And therefore, everyone can be very, very fluid and customised about the price. So again, in terms of a drive that's always on offer, you'll be hard pushed to find a drive more on offer than WD Black SN850. Next up, because WD have changed a lot of their WD Black SSD release strategy, in the time since this drive came on the market in 2020, there are two other NVMe SSDs available in the WD Black series. Both of them are PCIe Gen 4. Now, why is that important? Because that means this drive is now even lower in price. I don't want to sound like a QVC or mad salesman, but not only does, is this drive lower than when it first arrived on the scene, but now because WD released the SN7700 and they released the WD Black SN850X, which is coming very, very soon. This drive now is even lower in price, knocking around, and therefore making it tremendously desirable that for users that are looking at a PCIe Gen 4 SSD that they want to save a little bit of bunts on. Next up, not only is the price tag pretty, pretty low, but the availability is everywhere as well. When you look at any of the drives, whether you're looking at PC or PC PS5 upgrades, there are very, very, very few drives that are so readily available as this. Because WD do all of their manufacture in-house, the components inside are in-house, taking advantage of their own components and uh, Sandisk, the subsidiary. The result is that the WD Black, again, is heavily available and generally quite high quantities everywhere and they did have um, issues with regard to their NAND manufacturer plant but it doesn't look like many of the components involved in this system were part of that shortfall in production due to contamination there. Next up we can talk about this drive and firmware because it's been on the market for as long as it has. We have seen many 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 firmware updates to it tweaking it improving it and getting better and better performance out of it. It is a drive that has seen a lot of little tweaks and inclusions that have made it even better since day one. And if you already own one of these, get the firmware on there with the WD dashboard. You will get more out of it. But of course, there are reasons why it might not be worth it in 2022. So right now, let's go through a few reasons why you might want to give this drive a miss. First and foremost, the heatsink version. Right now, I'm waving this at the screen. This is the heatsink version of this drive. Why am I bringing that up? Because the heatsink version for a PCIe Gen 4 SSD, which can get very, very hot, is still way too expensive. When you look at the cost of M2 NVMe um, heatsinks, which are about five to 10 quid, their heatsink, although good, isn't as good as it should be at that price tag. Yes, it fits in a PS5, but it's still a pretty pricey price tag there. Next up, the write speed ain't that much to write home about. It's still pretty good. It knocks around for about 5,000 megs to five and a half if you push it hard enough. But there's a lot of SSDs that have been released in its wake that crack on with, you know, closer to 6,000 and exceeding 6,000 megs there, which again, something this drive, although you're not going to see it in a PS5 setup, would still be very advantageous to have. And finally, it's only available in up to 2TB. There's no 4TB option on this drive. And right now, if you are looking at large, large, large capacity for your PC or PS5, chances are that 2TB at that price tag, with or without the heatsink, may not have the future-proofing you need. And I wish they'd gone ahead and done a 4TB version. There are 4TBs of other WDs, but I think the WD Black SN850 is a good and popular enough drive that it would have been nice to see a 4TB version. But this has been... Um, should you buy the SN850 in summer 2022? Again, I've kept it as short as possible. I'm going to make a few of these. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.